In this lesson, we will learn how to add a new column to a pandas data frame. First, we will create a data frame and then we will insert a column to an already created data frame. So we have two ways. That means we will see the following two examples. We will add a new column using the insert method. This will allow you to add the column data, the column name as well as the location of the column. That is where you want to place the new column. In the second example, we will assign a new column using the assign method. But in this, the new column will get automatically added to the end. Okay. Let us see the first example. I told you we will add a new column using the insert method. This will allow you to add the location of the new column, the name of the new column and the data of the new column. That means the insert method is having the following parameters. The first will allow you to add the location wherein you want the new column. The second will be the name of the new column. And the third will include the values of the new column. Here it is. Okay. Now let us see the example. Here we have our PyCharm ID. We are using the free and open source PyCharm community edition. Okay, go to file, create a new project, file new project. Add the name of the project here. I've added pandas add column, you can add any name. It will get saved in the following location. Click create. We have created it. Now let us add a new python file, right click on the project, new, python file, add the name of the python file, let's say my first file will be demo1, it will automatically add the .py extension, because the python file is by default selected, press enter, here it is demo1, create a new file again, right click new python file, demo2, press enter, Okay, so we have our two Python files. Now let us add the comments also. Okay, let us see the first example. We will add a new column to a data frame using the insert method. Import pandas. We have added an alias pd using the as keyword. Now add the data for your data frame. Here it is. First I'll add ID. Then I'll add uh, student column. Rank. Marks. Okay, let me add records of five students. So I've added ID, now add the name. I'm adding the name here. Okay, now add the rank. That's it, marks. So we have created our, our data. Now create the data frame. Let's say I'll create an object data frame like this. I'll use pandas that is pd dot data frame method and within that mention the data that's it data frame created successfully you can print the data frame also mention a message like we are having student records okay 
now we will insert a new column i told you using the data frame dot data frame dot insert within that first mention the location wherein you want to place i'll mention two then the name of the column i have placed column name and then the values okay it has also shown the syntax on its own on pycharm id okay i have added all the details now what we need to do i'll just print it print the data frame mention the message updated data frame that's it now go to file save all right click run demo 1 let's see what we did first we created a four column five row table for student records then we added a new column that is roll number and we placed it at the second index at index second that means third position id student third third position roll number why because we added two here that means index two means position third in this way guys we can add a new column guys we saw how we can add a new column using the insert method we also placed the column at a specific location in the second example we will learn how to add a new column using the assign method we will add a new column to an already created data frame but the new column will get added to the end so this is the purpose of the assign method just mention the column name and the values that's it nothing else here in we have our second example import pandas and add an alias now we can take the records from here we added four column four columns id student rank marks now we need to use the assign method to add a new column okay mention data frame okay create a new object for the output res df let's say within that mention data frame dot assign method under this mention the name as well as the values like this okay i have added it mention it like this okay this looks fine now now display the updated data frame print that's it data frame updated data frame go to file save all right click run demo 2 here what we did we added the records four columns okay then we printed the updated data frame now we actually did a minor flaw we just printed this now we need to print res df that's our resultant data frame again right click run demo 2 here and i told you using the assign method we can display the new column at the last location okay we added it so guys in this uh, lesson we saw how we can add a new column using the insert method that will allow you to also set the location of the new column and using the assign method that will allow you to place the new column at the end of the current data frame 